morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular midweek devotion. This morning, we have three sets of verses. The first is written in the book of Proverbs chapter 4. It's verse 4 and 5. It read, Take hold of my words with all your heart. Keep my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. The second set is in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. It read, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. And the last group in the book of Psalms, chapter 103, verses 2, 3, 4, and 5. It read, let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. September 1923, the Literary Digest wrote, History Knows No Disasters. And Literary Digest wrote also, Which parallels the earthquake and fire that visited Japan this month and laid waste the capital city and the cheap seaport? The New York Tribune called this earthquake undoubtedly the greatest disaster in record recorded time. The New York Times described the havoc as covering about 45,000 square miles, which contain five big cities and a population of 7, mil 7 million. Other dispatches reported that virtually every building in Yokohama was destroyed. Perhaps three-fourths of Tokyo was burned and the entire city with its five million inhabitants was shattered by the earthquake. A joint survey made by Herbert Hoover and the Red Cross estimated the dead at almost 300,000. With Two and a half million people left homeless. Disease and despair rode throughout the island empire. Then, help came. Help from America for helpless Japan. Food, clothing, medical supplies, and volunteer workers came by the shipload. The American Red Cross collected $10 million for people of the United States for the suffering and homeless Nipponis. Those who lived through the awful earth tremors and the gigantic waves and the tongues of fire were about to perish. It seemed from starvation or diseases. But they did not. Why? Because America remembered, remembered their need, their suffering, their hunger. The Nipponis were grateful. They even put their appreciation in writing. Walter Kiernan, correspondent for the International News Service, recalls their words, Japan will never forget. But Japan did forget. American ships of mercy were forgotten and the rising sun sent planes of destruction in return. On December 7, 1941, not even 20 years had passed, Japanese airplanes brought death and destruction to Pearl Harbor, and the rising sun proclaimed that America should be brought to her knees and would beg for mercy. Before you entertain bad thoughts about Japanese, Japanese are not the only ones who overlook past mercies. Even in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 32, it read, 
My people have forget, forgotten me for days without numbers. Let us go back again to our verses. I want us to look at the third group of verses from the book of Psalms, 103, verse 2, 3, 4, and 5. It read, let me read it again. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me. What are those good things? He forgives all my sins. God has forgiven all our sins, even in the past, even until now. That is the reason why God sent His only Son, so that all sins can be forgiven if you will just receive and believe on His Son, Jesus Christ. And it says there, and heals all my diseases. How old are you right now? How many sickness and diseases that passed or you had experienced in your life? God had healed all of those. And that is the reason why you are here listening right now. For he redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercy. He did not just redeem us. But he even extended his love and mercy for us. He fills my life with good things. You are here right now. You are listening right now. You had experienced a lot of good things in your life. Those things came from him. My youth is renewed like the eagles. It is saying that our strength has been renewed by God. Day after day, after day, after day. The sad thing, like the Japanese, we tend to forget. Let us always remember all the good things that the Lord had done for us. And let us never forget what He did for us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We would like to open our hearts. And we would like, Heavenly Father, for you to look at our weaknesses. We forget about all of those most of the time. Instead, we focus on the problems. We focus on what we do not have. Heavenly Father, help us to always remember the good things that you have done for us. Especially by forgiving us our sins. By redeeming us. Heavenly Father, Continue to remind us so that it will help us to always think about you and appreciate all that you have done for us and for us to have a grateful heart. This is our prayer in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let us enjoy the day. Good morning. Good morning.